Okay, so let us now try to convert um from decimal to binary, decimal to octal, decimal to hexadecimal. So based on the previous video, um we're going to convert 29 decimal. Let me try to write that one here. Oops. Let's try to have the thickness and and then again. So 29 decimal at stand to base binary. So base 2. So again, very simple lang, no? Kung ano ang number, nga mo ang i-divide. And then, divide ni mo sa iyang base. So 29 divide 2 is equal to 29 divide 2 is equal to 14.5, no? So 14... <laughs> Point five. How can you get the remainder? In order to get the remainder, very easy lang. Ang imong point five, i multiply ni mo sa two. Okay? So point five times two is pila one. Now so remainder one din ka. So wala on na din ni mo siya. Crash out na ni mo. You have now your fourteen, and then divided by two is equal to pila seven, right? Remainder. Zero because there's no remainder. 14 divided by 2. And the next, we have 7 divided by 2 is equal to 1. I uh, know. It's equal to 3. Right? 3.5. That's 3.5, no? So 3.5, in order for you to get the remainder, 0.5 times 2, that's 1. No? Crush out, I don't know and then you have 3 divide 2 equals 1, 1.5, right? 1.5, remainder, 0.5 times 2, that is 1. Next, um, crash out na po din na mo. So you have 1 divide 2 is equal to? Ilaman, 1 divided 2 is 0 0.5 or 0, or mukhaan yung remainder, 0 0.5 times 2, 1. Okay? Remainder 1. So stop na rin yun ka. Once, ako, na ni mo ang, once 0 na yung quotient. And then in order for you to write this one, start ka with your most significant digit. And then two less significant digits. So or... Right ni mo siya from top to, uh, from bottom to top. Okay, so 1, 1, 1, we have 1, 1, 1, and then 0, and then 1. So that is now 29 binary is equivalent to, uh, 29 decimal is equivalent to 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 binary. Always put this one para mabala ni mo na binary na siya. So you have here 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay? This method is long division. So, multiply, multiply lang ka. So, very easy lang, no? From converting decimal number to binary. How about, let us say, converting um, 123 octal, I mean, decimal to octal. Octal is base 8. So, same regard po ng process. Unsa na may mong i-divide? So, 123. Divide na mo si 8. Okay? So, 123 divide 8. 123 divide 8 is 15 point... 15.375. No? 3.75. So, in order for you to get the remainder, 0.375, imo rin siyang i-multiply sa imo ang kanisya 8. So, multiply mo 8. The answer is remainder 3. Okay? So, crash out na din na nimo. Or delete ka malibog. So, you, you now have 15 divided by 8 is equal to... So, 15 divided 8 is equal to 1 point, 1.875. Okay? So, 875. Crash out na po na nimo. 0.875. Para makuha nimo remainder times 8 is equal to 7, no? So, 7. Oh, pangit yung 7. 
And then one divide eight is of course fill answer. This is one divide eight, zero point one two five. Remember point one two five point or uh, one two five um multiply ni musya sa eight. Okay, so the answer is one, huh? So in order for you to again same lagi apa ni mugi buat sa binary from top to from bottom to top from your most significant digit to less significant digit less significant digit no so your answer now is 173 octal so 123 decimal is equivalent to 173 octal so tapos erase na nimo okay pretty easy right Oh, same. How about how about your um hexadecimal? So instead the uh, two for binary, eight for octal for decimal, hexadecimal sixteen. No. Let us say for example you have you have four eighty seven. Okay, we'll use the same example on what we uh, put in the presentation. That I will be, uh, that I have shared to you guys. So four hundred eighty seven base sixteen. Divide na tano. Four hundred eighty seven divided by sixteen is equal to. Oh my god. Okay. Four eighty seven divide sixteen. Let's just use calculator para di na kayo ano. Di na kayo sakit ang pagkuan ba? Calculate. So thirty point four three seven five, no. So four three seven five. How to get the remainder? One point point forty three seventy five multiplied lang ni mo sa imong kanisya divisor divided by. I mean multiply sixteen. So forty seven thirty five point forty seven thirty five times sixteen. It's seven. So your Your remainder is seven. So crush out and then anymore. Para dili ka kamalibog sa imong next nga um divide. Pag divide sa sixteen. So thirty divided by sixteen is equal to one point one point eight seven five. No, eight seven five. In order to get the remainder again, crush out and anymore. Point eight seven five times sixteen is equal to fourteen. No. Fourteen. So fourteen. Next, one divided by sixteen is zero. No, zero point. Um, one divided by sixteen, zero point zero six two five, and then cross out na nandena ni mo para makuha ni mo remainder para multiply na ni mo siyag sixteen. Remainder ni mo is one. No, so um same regard po ng process. This is your most significant digit. No, this is your least, least, least significant digit or bottom to top. So your answer now is one, fourteen, seven. Okay, but remember nga sa hexadecimal fourteen is equivalent to again ha atong a is ten. B is eleven, C is twelve, D is thirteen, E is fourteen, and then F is fifteen, right? So you have one, fourteen, and seven. Okay, so E fourteen is E, di ba E? Kung ano siyang E change to E? And then one seven. So your answer now, four hundred eighty seven decimal, is equivalent to one e seven. Okay, so pretty easy, pretty basic. From um decimal, this one is this to bin binary. This one is your this to oct octal means eight. Eight binary two, and this one is your this two 
um, hex. Okay, so I'm going to create another video for um, from base, other base to decimal, like binary to decimal, and then um, octal to decimal, hexa to decimal. Okay, for this one is baliktad, ah, uh, ano sa ta? Decimal to any number system. So, lahi na po the video ang ito ang octal for uh, octal to bin, bin to this. Okay? And then, octal to hex, hex to octal, etc. etc. So, para ma, ano, mabung kagat ng video. So, pretty easy lang, right? So, simple na kayo ang um, process in order for you to convert decimal to other base system. Okay? So, that's it for this uh, video.